actually from this territory. I'm a carrier. I'm not a Ben First Nation. I have uh, with me some beautiful elders from our village, and I am feeling very uh, humbled and a little awkward standing before our elders and speaking when they are the ones who carry the wisdom. So thank you for granting me this privilege and this honor to speak before you this uh, this evening. And I'd like to, um, on behalf of the Carrier Nation, to welcome you here tonight. Part of our protocol is that we, uh, we don't begin a meeting unless there's a welcome from the people who are from the land that we're on. So that's that's a good way to do things, and we do that tonight. And I also would like to just do some other protocol. I'd like to recognize some of our dear elders, some who are from Natale, actually. Uh, Za and family, can you guys stand up over there? Anita, my cousins, stand up. <laughs> Folks who are 
uh, here among us and uh, just sometimes make fun of him like I did of Sam. <laughs> but you know what, I've known Sam accident since I was a little girl. Little girl. And uh, he, he would play the guitar and I always wanted to learn because of how he played. And So I've known him for a long time and he's uh, picked on me a lot in my life too. And that's native love. That's how we show our love to one another. That's why, you know, Randy gets it the worst, right? There's a lot of love in here. <laughs> But I also wanted uh, to just say thanks to the folks who are hosting us here, for having us here. And I know that Linda's a part of that group, Linda Johnston, and uh, she's put up with me for about 25 years, and I've put up with her. <laughs> she's one of my dear friends. We have had all my laugh parties and crazy stuff, and Beth, of course, from King's Inn. Love you guys, and, and the church here. But we were invited here um, with the team from Kitimat. Now, who's all from Kitimat? Where are you guys? Stand up. If you came from Kitimat, stand up. Wow. Awesome. I've been looking from Kitimat, eh? <laughs> of course, Art and Heather are dear friends of ours, and they invited us to come along here, and we're really happy that we could join them and all of you good folks here and, and what the Lord is doing in our lives and uh, just the journey of healing. I think that all of us are on, and you know, I have, I used to think when I was a little kid that God was kind of a scary eyeball, you know, that was always watching me and following me wherever I went, you know, and I was always scared of God and, and sort of wondered, oh, what's going to happen when I was a little girl? I don't know where I got these ideas from, but uh, as I grew up and as I started to learn about Caleb. God, I realized Caleb, something about down. Him. Sit down here. No, sit here. No, 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 sit here. Sit here. I said, the sit God here, who just loves us and never gives up on us. And you know, we Tracy. might think that sit we've, down. you know, jumped out of His hand and no. run away as far as we can, and then yet He's right there behind us. And I think the best picture sit I can think of is, you know, the ladies, no. our yes, chick flicks. Right? Okay. You know, when the girl is, you know, had it and she's leaving, she's on the plane, she's given her ticket to the ticket agent, and the guy is running with some flowers and he's busting through security and he's going through and he's going to meet her and tell her, don't go. That's God. That's God. Except for me, I'd rather have chocolates than flowers. God knows that about me. So, so does Randy, fortunately. Yes, and. So that's who our God is. And, and you know, it straightened me out a lot that God really, really loves us. When I was younger, I didn't really know that God loved me as an easy person. I thought that, and I felt that like no, when I had, came into a church that I would kind of have to check my identity at the door like an unwanted overcoat. And then I could come into the church and just sort of try to fit in and try to be like everybody else. I kept my hair really short, and some of you remember it really high. I just totally dated myself. I, I, I didn't. Um, I was always happy to be native in Nata. I loved it. I loved going back home to Nadley because I felt so at home there. Everywhere else seemed to be a bit of a struggle, especially in church. And it took me a long time to realize that God loves us as native people for who we are. Because man, He created us like this. Created us this way with all these dumb jokes. <laughs> Just kidding. Well, we we're really good at that. 